What is going on everybody? Welcome to or back to Riders Record Collection. My name is Carl and it is November 2021 and I'm going to get back on the Records of the Month train. Um, this was one of the main goals of my channel when I started it um, and I haven't been very good at keeping up with it. But I'm going forward going to try and get back on this train and do the albums of the month every month. Um, I really enjoy the history of the records in my record collection. So this is a fun way for me to show off some albums that are having some pretty big birthdays. Uh, give you a little bit of facts about them and um, it keeps me relevant with like listening to new albums in my collection because I try to listen to these albums the month or the day that they turn, whatever age they turn. So uh, here are five albums from uh, November 2021 that are celebrating some pretty good birthdays. And uh, first off, we're going to go with a easy listening pop jazz album. And this is Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass SRO or Standing Room Only. This was released in November 1966. So in November 2021, it is turning... Uh, 55. It is Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass's seventh album together. Um, very good. I'm a huge fan of Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. I have uh, the original incarnation of the Tijuana Brass. I have all their albums. I really enjoy him. I personally don't think he gets enough love here in the VC. Um, he is the A in a and Records. He signed a lot of big bands and I think he made a lot of really good music with and without the Tijuana Brass. But Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass SRO is turning 55 in uh november 2021 so if you have it spin it and if you don't check it out pretty good so this next album is turning 50 in november 2021 it was released in november 1971 and this is Jimi hendrix of the isle of white or right i don't really know how to say it but this was a album released after hendrix died in the uk only on the polydor label i'll show you the label right now Released only in the UK, made in England. But this album is Hendrix's performance at the 1970 Isle of Wight Festival, um, which was on August 30th, 1970, three weeks before he died on September 18th, 1970. So it's his last performance before he passed in 1970. Uh, the songs on here are Midnight Lightning, Foxy Lady, Lover Man, Freedom, All Along the Watchtower, and In From the Snow. Um, really, really good. Like I said, only made in the UK. Really cool record store grab. I'm not expecting to find this. I'm a sucker for Hendrix, so anytime I see Hendrix, I pick it up. But turning 50 in November 2021 is Jimi Hendrix at the Isle of Wight. Next is a mammoth of an album, and there's not, there isn't anything that I can say about this album that hasn't already been said, but this was released in November 8th, 1971, and it is turning 50 on November 8th, 2021, and that is Led Zeppelin 4, Led Zeppelin, the Untitled album, Led Zeppelin, the Symbols album, whatever you want to call it, but this is one of the best albums of the 70s. This has Stairway to Heaven, Black Dog, all of those hard-banging Zeppelin albums. This is the starting point for many people getting the Zeppelin. Um, it peaked at number two on the Billboard 200 and is Zeppelin's best-selling album in their catalog. It is phenomenal from start to finish. It's been on many best of lists. It's just, it's a flawless record. Um, the only downside to it is I do think some of the songs in it are overplayed, but from start to finish, if you sit down and you listen to it as an album, it is really good. And they all flow together so well. And this has some of the best gatefold art, I think, out of any album. I, oh, album's gonna fall out of the bottom. I really, really, really love this gatefold art in the middle here. Um, I think it's some of the best gatefold art ever, but just a phenomenal, phenomenal Zeppelin album. And again, there's not enough things that I can say about this that haven't been said. If you haven't heard it, just check it out and listen to it from start to finish. There are some stunning songs on this album. And even though Stairway to Heaven is overplayed, it fits so well with the rest of this album. So Zeppelin 4, November 8th, 1971 turning 50 November 8th 2021 if you haven't heard it check it out if you haven't give it a spin on November 8th 2021 this next album was released on November 13th 2001 it is turning 20 on November 13th 2021 it is one of my first favorite bands that unfortunately like sort of fell off the map for me after their 2004 release but this is Green Day and their album International Super Hits this is the first greatest hits album that they made and I think this is the greatest hit album that they made in the prime of their career. Um, everyone's got their opinion. And my opinion is that after Green Day's American Idiot, everything they made subsequently has, in my opinion, just been 
subpar. I think everything leading up to 2004 as American Idiot has been awesome, and this is a good showcase of all their 90s. Uh, it excludes their first two albums that they uh, released before they were signed to Reprise, or Reprise, um, but just super, super good. It's 60 minutes. It's got uh, Maria, Pop Rocks and Coke, Longview, Welcome to Paradise, Basket Case, When I Come Around, She, I, A, R, G, Stinky Breath, Brain Stew, Jaded, Walking Contradiction, Stuck With Me, Hitching a Ride, Good Riddance, Redundant, Nice Guys Finish Last, Minority, Warning, Waiting, and Macy's Day Parade. So it's a good mix of their more punk stuff along with their more alternative stuff. This peaked at number 40 on the Billboard 200, and it is a punk rock, pop punk, and alternative album. Um, 60 minutes and 44 seconds overall. Uh, a lot of album, a lot of songs on one LP, but it is super, super good. I think it's, like I said, Green Day's best songs. Um, I haven't really paid attention to them post. 2004 is American Idiot, because everything I've listened to has just been subpar for me, but a very, very good album. And if you haven't heard it, check it out. And if you happen to own it on November 13th, 2021, it is turning 20. So Green Day, International Super Hits, released November 13th, 2001, turning 20 in November 2021. And last, but certainly not least, is one of the best debut albums ever. Um, I'm planning on making a series coming out soon of just stunning, untouchable debut albums. And this is going to be one of the first ones I feature. But this, there is not a bad song on this album. This is turning 35 on November 15, 2021. This is the Beastie Boys Licensed to Ill. It was released on November 15, 1986. It is the debut studio album by the Beastie Boys. It is uh, on Def Jam recordings by Capitol Records. It is the first rap LP to top the Billboard 200. And it is the fastest selling debut records of all time in Columbia's history. And it is just... It, it's awesome. This also has phenomenal, phenomenal uh, album art. This right here is basically a, a joint getting stubbed out in the form of an airplane. And then you got the Beastie Boys in the middle here. But this whole entire album, it just, it kicks. I am not a rap fan. I have tried to get into some modern rap. I just can't do it. But this album, it man, it's awesome. What, the new style girls, poses, I mean, all of it, Paul Revere, there's, I know all the words to all the songs in this album, and I love it, and this is my Friday night hype, get pumped, let's go out party music, so, uh, Turning 35 on November 15th, 2021, released November 15th, 1986, The Beastie Boys Licensed to Ill, if you have it in your collection, spin it, if you haven't heard it, I highly, highly recommend it, along with a couple other albums in this list, but Turning 35, so check it out. And that was 2021's Records of the Month. Um, again, I've really dropped the ball with this series. I want to get going with this series. My goal is to try and have one of these out every month. Um, again, going forward, I'm probably going to miss a month or two. But I want to consistently have these out more. So if you like this video, please throw it a like. If you know any albums that are having any big birthdays, let me know. I like chat and music. Again, I this helps me listen to a lot of albums in my collection. I got a big old list of all the stuff. Um, these aren't the only albums turning a certain age, but these are the biggest ones. So figured I'd share them with you. If you have any of them, spin them. Um, again, I'm Carl. This is Rider's Record Question. If you like this video, please throw it a like. If you like the channel, please subscribe. And um, until the next time, have some, have some fun, spin some wax. Cheers.